Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. Let's go ahead and start the day with my buddy, Javi. Come here, Javi. Come here, buddy. Come on over. What are you doing, silly Of course, monkey? Javi is just absolutely amazing, and so is Sid. We'll take a look at Sid here in a little bit. But it's just been amazing adding these animal ambassadors. Okay. You know, again, when we first got them, my buddy Blake, so many of my other friends told me that you have to be careful with capybaras because they are so skittish and so shy, and oftentimes they don't like interactions with people. And uh, oh my gosh, Javi has just bonded to all of us. We spent a tremendous amount of time with them. And I know that these guys are pack animals. Typically, you're going to have multiple capybaras. But I think what happens is when you have them singular, they then and think you're part of their bond. You're part of their group, right? In a way, it kind of aids to our situation. We've actually taken them around people, like when the big pond build was happening. We actually took them over with a bunch of people. So good just running around to everybody. I mean, look at how incredible. And he's getting big. I mean, they grow super fast. But today, unfortunately, he's probably not gonna be happy because uh, uh, he's gotta go for a vet checkup. Interestingly enough, these guys aren't as social as capybara. They don't stay in groups as much, but when they are in a group, that group is actually called a prickle, which is pretty funny, I think. But the fact is, is that both Sid and Javi have to go for a vet checkup today, and that's just part of keeping these guys, you know, they're USDA regulated animals, which means you have to have a USDA permit. And with that, you have to have vet checks, stuff like that, which we do with all our mammals, you know, of course, Drogo and Brillo. So and unfortunately, stuff. today, these guys get a little vet checkup. I don't think it's gonna be any big deal, and our vet is literally just 20 feet away from our front door so we just have to walk from here across the street and that's pretty much it. <laughs> 1.19. She's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, perfect. I'll let Dr. Dixon know you're here and we'll be right in, okay? But Sid is getting big too. Remember when we first got Sid in the palm of your hand? Look at how big he's getting right now. And we're about to build his new enclosure, which will be the same as Javi's, of course, that's just sitting there waiting for us to build because it. Because now he's getting that size where he probably could use a little bit more room. You guys, the camera pointed at me. What's up? Hey, let me put you on speaker. Yeah. Welcome to the vlog. Hi. What are you guys doing? We're going to film some underappreciated animals today. I'm just missing. Oh my God, underappreciated animals, Mr. Nubbins. Yeah, Mr. Nubbin. He's <laughs> coming for me, he's coming for me. So, like, who's his favorite? This is Josh. He's our diamond back turtle, terrapin. Don't give me bit right I now. I want you That's to get not bit. Even funny. You that splash water suck. in my face, that's me. You wanna keep Pink going? Pink eye. No. Ash Wednesday. This is one of our underrated and newer animals here at the Reptarium. We actually put them over here last week so people came in and can like interact with them. So sociable and His so personal skin of a turtle. It's so squishy. It does feel really it's, soft. It feels so cool. I'm sorry, I know this is making you upset, Josh, but you feel so cool. Can I touch his back thigh, his chicken meat? Josh. How do you think it went for the first time? Actually, they did really good, I think. We're good. I like how Sid did the like, not gonna move. <laughs> so Javi did the same, just yeah. terrified, but... Super good. Don't, no, 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 you can't chew my bracelet. It's crazy how big they've gotten already. Insane, This really. is, she literally like, has she, double, yeah, yeah I, know, I used to go like this. Hand. Long quills that used to stick out literally right here. Yeah, they're growing so much. And Javi too, so much bigger, it's crazy how fast. All right, so we have two new ones. Yep, shipped from somewhere far. Uh, we actually picked them up. He came from Florida and Pine was Georgia. Still on a bottle, but starting to take other foods. It's still on milk. But okay, yeah. This one doesn't do the bottle. We'll drinks it with the, yeah. Okay, guts sound good. Our lungs sound good. Pooping lots. Yep. Probably once we get some poops, should just check parasite. What am I Maybe making you so mad? Make care, take care of these guys. Oh, uh, there's four of us on the mail. Ears look good. Beautiful. I know. Well, those molars, huh? You're doing really good. Okay, good. Can I see the other side? You have a lot more cheek than a guinea pig. It's a lot easier to get in here. These cool web feet. 
They get a 160. Well, these are the big guys. What are you guys going to do? <laughs> so we've got yeah, a plan. Huge, yeah, yeah, there's a huge enclosure. He's going to share it with our uh, Aldabra tortoise. We've seen a lot of zoos where they seem to pair well with tortoises. Yes. So yeah. there'll be like a water feature for them to kind of yeah. go and soak in together. Exactly. Okay, he can go back and relax. He's very good for that. So Of the pig, she had a hog nose, and she's beautiful. Let's just take a moment to do we. When's what the last time we've a western I would prep a pig because it's adorable right, do you and every do kid. It? That's all I was saying. It feels Go like ahead. you want to do it a little bit. <laughs> just okay. talk about Anyways, how are you not a little celeb around these parts? Uh, we don't get to film a whole lot with Peppa because she is just a hognose snake. They don't do a whole lot to like crazy. You, uh, well, I just mean like, okay, Lucy Cover and your Julia, ears, Peppa. They don't you have ears. I did not hear. I thought So hot and so hot in here. You know what's really, really hot? Australia. <laughs> <laughs> That's where Jean's from, and Jean is our Woma Python. Woma Pythons are cousins to the black headed pythons that everybody likes. So, what is he named? What's Jean? Jean Simmons? Yeah. No. Jean Wilder? Jean Levy. Who's that? Oh my god, they look so similar. Love Australia. It is the top of my bucket list to go there. I would love to try to catch one of these in the wild. Just not that interesting to film all the time. You're not interesting to film all the time, but you still do it. And speaking of mammals, of course, we've got our guy Drogo here. Now, Drogo's obviously been here for a few years, and he's such a big part of the Reptarium, part of our family. We love him to death, and he's doing so well. But the one thing that we actually showed you even is how he climbs to the bottom of this tree and actually goes poop. Now, this is not his poop right here, by the way. This is actually Universal Rocks. So what he does, he poops right here. So one of the things that Lori has really hated is the fact that when he poops and he pees, and they only go once a week, so it's a lot of pee. I mean, literally like a gallon of pee. It always runs out into here, and nine times out of ten, he does it during open hours, either Friday night or Saturday night. So sure enough, when people are here, all of a sudden there's a river of pee that's going here. So what we have to do is build some sort of a kind of contraption around the tree with like a liner. We got liner from the pond across the street. And we're gonna build something here in the next couple days. When he comes down, you'll we'll put some dirt in there. And when he comes down, all the pee and the poo stays in here. And we can kind of self-contain it and get it cleaned up. Man, look one up, Connie. It's so hard. Connie's been here three hours apparently because she doesn't know how to handle any of the animals. So this is a suit Sudan plated lizard and uh, they're from Sudan. I don't know. These guys are awesome. They don't get featured a lot in the vlogs, but they are hilarious. They'll poop on you, which is like big deal, right? We're used it to stinks. it. We're in the stinky business. Is that a funny joke? I don't think so. <laughs> I'm nervous right now. Can you tell? <laughs> Super curious. They're wondering what we're doing. So they're called the penguins in Madagascar because they act like the penguins from the Madagascar movie. Hence the name. Private Skipper Rico and Kowalski. Kowalski. Grenade. <laughs> oh, get him, get him, get him. So this is Bone Thugs. He's got me right in the cuticle. Don't rip him off. No, 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 no. no. I'm trying to grab him so I can sport the weight. Uh -huh. He's oh, harder, <laughs> These guys are underappreciated because of this. You're just um, making it worse. Pinched me so bad. We don't want to stress them out. Imagine These guys that. are really good uh, jewelry and they don't let go when I they bite. I love how limp his body is. Obviously, I'd rather not get bit every single day, but they're really not that bad. Look at his little teats. That's in me right now. <laughs> What do we do? Now he's realizing that he's flat on something. Now he's shooting. Uh -oh. nope. Move quick, shut the door. Look what he did to my fingy. And that's why they're underappreciated. <laughs> okay, I know, I know. It's interesting the sound the quills make on each other. Yeah. That's really cool. You're like a baby of any other animal. You can want to hold still. Where are you going? It's <laughs> 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 alright. You want a towel? You got a little stand up. I didn't even feel that. It was going like went inside of my nail. I'll get poked a little bit and be like, ow. Here we go. Good job. Good job. Okay. So this one's a little more solitary. Like, um, so I can see from underneath, like from my belly. Yes, thank you. Higher? Oh. Hope you see this. So funny. So cute. Quill to the face. <laughs> <laughs> she can relax too. She did really good for that. Is it a quill? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought she was going to lose one of my shirt right now. Yeah. There probably is one in your chest. Yes. <laughs> Everything was very normal. What so. did she do to you? <laughs> okay. She's good. 
so good. Yeah. Oh, don't bother. Oh, Mohawk is strong this morning. Ow, she's biting me right now. Should we poke Mike with it when we get back? Oh, what else are we gonna do with it? Good. Gonna go get her hair. Are they being kept separate from the public? Or did they initially? Look at how cute he is. Girl, go, hi, baby. What you doing, silly? You're such a good boy. I tell you what, sloths are so amazing, and to have one is just so crazy. And again, Drogo's gonna stay here when we are across the street. We're gonna get a new sloth for across the street. That way, we have a sloth here, and we have a sloth across the street. That way, when people are doing private events here, they can still come in and spend some time with Drogo. Okay, we're gonna just do a quick little walk next door and just see where the food is kept. Be okay with us climbing in and getting a picture near him. Okay. okay. You're all, you're all jump, you gotta catch him when he jumps. We want him on your face. Oh my gosh, so these are the red eye green tree frogs, and they are adorable, but they are also so new to the reptarium that they haven't been in the videos a whole lot. They are so new. Don't eat Everybody that's ever been to the Rainforest Cafe or an Amazon or any book with a magazine like the Emerald Tree Bone, you see red eye green tree frogs. Oh, look at and that. They are one of the prettiest looking frogs. Yeah, you see his size when they're walking. Bright orange feet with them big red demonic eyes. They are just absolutely phenomenal. Stunning. And stunning. They're absolutely stunning. stunning. They're going to be my new best friends. Oh. I'm not grabbing that frog. Slimy, look at that anaconda. She's shitting. Shitting. You can't say that. Stryly. I'm trying to do a She's Stryly South Stryly American. Well, guys, Ariana is shedding. Which means this could be the pre-lay shed. As you guys know, she is grabby. Oh. She got some babies. This could be the pre-lay shed. That's exciting. Not good. That means babies are coming way sooner than I thought they oh. would be. I was scared. I'm like, why is that not good? What a day. So. Ariana is going to be literally a mother and a father at the same time. That's a lot of responsibility. Kentucky. You are not the father. Jazz. Poor old Jazz is in Kentucky like somebody's doing a party. Got, somebody owes child support. That's all I'm trying to say. We got to get after it. Well, all these babies are going to cost a lot of money to take care of. Who's paying for all that? You. Me? Yeah. Why me? You're the grandma. It's not my business. You're the grandma. I'm a grandma. So it was good news. Jay, everything went good at the vet? Everything went good. Everybody's super healthy. She said that they both look great. And guess what? Javi weighs three. What is it? Pounds? I don't know if it was pounds or kilos. You were looking at this again. Three kilos. Three kilos. I'm not even sure what that means, but it's cool to see that they're doing good. Growing up, these guys are going to be amazing animal ambassadors. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember... Let me see what you're doing, dude. We're on a cabbie.